I did a video um, on this, talking about this, and on this very topic um, uh, a few months ago. I can't stand when people shit on their own city. Um, some people don't have pride, city pride, uh, or pride in their city, and that's okay. You don't have to, right? Ain't like we built these cities anyway. But I just feel like it's a cop out, and I feel like it's weak. I feel like it's stupid, and I think it's a sign of low intelligence when people blame a city for the misery that they wake up to every day. Somebody I know, a former friend of mine, is one of those individuals. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He blames Philly. He just has this weird, like, hate for Philly. Ugh, I hate Philly. Weirdo. Um, would, would even say dumb shit like all the Philly is bad. You know they 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 ain't that bright when they start making statements like that. It's the sixth biggest city in the world, got 1.6 million people in it. It's 141 square miles. It's no possible way that every part of the city is bad. But let them tell it. The whole city bad. I want to just say this <coughs> before I get into what I really want to say. People from Philly and Philadelphians are like the most self-hating people in the world. I think they have an inferiority complex because uh, the lack of success that the sports teams have, they don't win often. And you have this smaller city, Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania, that has had a lot more success in sports than you, you've had. They only got three teams. We got four, but they win way more than we do, right? Like the Steelers have six Super Bowls. The Penguins have like four to five Stanley Cups. They won like two in the last 10 years. Um, the, uh, what's that baseball team? The Pirates, I think, have won. I don't think they've won in a very long time, but they have more World Series than the Philadelphia Phillies. Philadelphia is a very pathetic and pitiful city. When it comes to sports, for it to be a big major city with four major, with all four major sports teams, um, and have only won like two championships in the last 40, 50 years, that's pretty sad and pathetic. But I also think Philadelphians have an inferiority complex because they're right in between two of probably the greatest cities in the world, uh, New York, and which is like the, um, financial capital and then the Washington DC which is the capital that's where the government is um and then you know we're sort of fourth place in like the northeast corridor um that's Boston New York Philly DC and Baltimore is included even though some people say that Baltimore and DC is like mid atlantic um, but still, we're like in fourth place. The only city that we're considered better than is probably Baltimore. But Philly is a very important city. I mean, it's the first of so many things. So many things started here. Um, and it's America's birthplace. Can't get any more important than that, right? But I don't think that Philadelphia is smart enough to realize that I think people who come here love the city and think that it's amazing because it is. But the people who live here for whatever reason have like this weird hatred towards it and they blow everything out of proportion and don't realize how great it is because and I, I used to be like that a little bit until I started traveling and realizing that all these other cities are not that great and Philadelphia is better than like the vast majority of other cities in the US um, despite its high crime rate and I started realizing that every major mega city has high crime <laughs> you know what I mean 
Um, and that changes over time. Like, you know, I remember one time D.C. was really bad. Then New Orleans was really bad. Memphis was really bad. Now it's Philly. Um, but that, that, that that's going to change. But um, the crazy part is, you know, if you come from the worst part of the city, if you live in one of the worst parts of the city, like my former friend who lived in West Philly and had a terrible family who just loved the drama and was just toxic and dysfunctional. Of course, if you have a... a you know, toxic family and you're always in drama and you surround yourself with dysfunctional, messy people and you're fighting all the time and and going through shit with people. Of course, your experience anywhere you go is not going to be enjoyable. But you can't blame the city for that because you type in Philadelphia I'm just using Philadelphia as an I don't want to make this whole city, this whole video about Philadelphia. I'm just using Philadelphia as an example because that's the city I'm from. And I know people from here who talk down on it and um, blow shit out of proportion and act like it's the worst place in the world. But people do this with all cities. I've noticed this. I know a girl who's from Detroit and she like Detroit's the worst place in the world. And it's funny because this former friend of mine moved to Georgia, to the Atlanta, I think Atlanta. And I know people from Atlanta who hate it. I know people from Georgia who hate it. So I think it's it's a combination of these people just being unhappy in these cities and being so familiar with it and just being over it and tired of it. And they just want something new. And it's like that new effect. Like you move somewhere and it may be the worst place in the world, but because it's new and you're not familiar with it, it feels like a breath of fresh air. You know what I mean? And sometimes you just want an environment change, a change of environment. My mom friend moved to Phoenix and we went out there and we learned that, you know, she talks all this shit about, oh, uh, you know, I love Phoenix. It's so much better than Philly, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell y'all something. We went out there and that shit was worse than North Philly. It was terrible, especially the section she lived, she lived in. And my mom was saying, why, why did she say it was I said, Mom, that's people. They're going to always think the place that they moved to is better than the place that they left. And they're going to try to convince themselves that the place that they moved to is better than the place that they left. But it might be for them because they're leaving drama. They're leaving a, a toxic situation and moving into a more peaceful situation. And so my cousin inspired this uh, <laughs> video. Because she's one of the ones, and I always tell her, like, stop putting your business on social media. Like, everybody don't need to know everything about you. Like, everybody don't need to know everything on Facebook and on, on Twitter. You know what I mean? She loves to express herself on social media. Oh, I'm done with people. People ain't shit. Um, people better not, better not ever need me because ain't nobody there for me now in my, in, at, at my weakest point, in my darkest hour. So... When y'all go through shit, y'all better not ever call me. When I get back on my feet, I'm not going to help nobody no more. Okay, nobody cares, and you don't need to give people that energy and let people know that um, they're winning. You're, you're haters. You're, you're letting them know that they're getting to you, and you're letting them know that you're hurt, and you shouldn't let them know that because that's just ammunition for them, and that's just something for them to feed off of. But then she goes on this whole... Philadelphia rant about how she's leaving Philly and oh I'm leaving Philly in two years and that's not going this person I'm talking about and I love her she's a just a miserable motherfucker you ever meet somebody that's just always in some drama just they just all they never happy they just always got some shit going on with them like you could put them in the perfect situation and give them a billion dollars and they would find a way to still be miserable and fuck it up and to create some drama in their life that's her it just feels like drama just follows her. And, and she even says that. Like it's a black cloud that just follows her. That's just over her head everywhere she go. Or like a, a an invisible black cat running around her. She's just not. She just. She makes decisions that bring on. That, that result in shit not going her way way she has a way of attracting negativity and drama it's with her decisions it's with the people that she chooses to surround herself with the people she hang around with people she deal with 
Um, sometimes I feel like she has too big of a heart. Sometimes she does things for the wrong people. Just poor judgment is is like her biggest issue. She she's not really a good judge of character, and I think that's been one of my mistakes with, with, in dealing with people. Um, I don't let people earn my love. I just give it to them. I give it to them too soon, too quick, too easily without them earning it, um, improving. To, to me that they deserve uh, the love and support and all of me that I give to them but it goes to show that it's not the city I've come across several people oh I love Philadelphia I love it I've been here 10 years I moved here from North, uh, uh, North Carolina I moved here from New Orleans I moved here from Georgia, I moved here from Kansas City, from LA. I love it. That former friend seemed to think it's the worst place in the world. So something ain't adding up. Goes to tell you it's about the person's experience. He had a lot of toxic, problematic, and troubled people in his life. And he was a troubled individual. And his relationship with his family was very troubled. So I don't see how there was any possibility for him to be happy or how there was any chance for him to be happy when he was involved with those type of people and always in some drama. That was the, the, the issue. I don't think it was Philadelphia. Philadelphia has a lot of nice areas. A lot of bad areas, but a lot of nice areas as well. Same with Atlanta, same with Detroit, same with Cleveland, same with D.C., same with L.A. There are people in L.A. right now miserable. But people who are new there, they may like it because it's a new scenery. It's a new environment. It's something fresh. It's something new. It's an escape. That's what it is. You getting away from all the things that brought you down. It's not the city. It's not the location. It's the people in the city. It's the people that you choose to deal with. It's the environment. It's the area of the city. You can find peace in Philadelphia. You can find peace in Atlanta. You can find peace anywhere. If you surround yourself with a core of, of good people with good energy and good vibrations, good souls, good hearts, that's not going to hurt you. That's not going to do you wrong. That's not going to violate you. That's not going to mistreat you. That's not going to fuck you over. That's not going to fuck you over. You'll be all right. You'll be able to keep and have peace without it being disrupted. You'll be able to find joy. You'll be able to smile more. And you'll be happier. It's about the people in your inner circle and the area. If you're living in a rundown, violent, crime written area, then you, you, you're not going to be happy there either. That's going to take a toll on your mental. That's going to make you anxious. That's going to cause you anxiety. That's going to cause you stress. That's going to make you feel depressed. You living in the hood, one of the worst hoods in the world is North Philadelphia. You live there, I don't know how you can be happy. <laughs> but it's all based on your experience and the people that you keep in your circle. So you have to take accountability, look yourself in the mirror, and blame yourself. If you're not happy with yourself, if you got some demons going on in here that you haven't exiled. That you haven't rid of All that filth that you got going on within Until you fix that That shit gonna follow you wherever you go And after that honeymoon phase is over After that newness That sense of newness wears off After about a year or two You're gonna be back miserable And ready to move again Because the city ain't the problem You moving to Atlanta ain't gonna make you happy There's nothing in Atlanta that, that ain't in Philly there's not, nothing in uh, uh, 
Detroit that's not in LA. There's nothing in New Orleans that's not in San Francisco. You can be happy wherever you go. But if you don't make a change within yourself, you just bring that drama with you. You keeping the same fucked up, uh, negative, wicked, mean spirited, dysfunctional people in your life. You d d d nothing's going to change. Things are going to remain the same. I don't give a fuck where you go. I don't know why people have this this mindset where they think that like it's the place that, that where they at. Like this this place is prone to making people feel miserable, and this place is prone. Like they 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 just I don't know. This this environment generates happiness. No, environments don't generate happiness or sadness. You create that, and that starts within. So if you ain't happy on the inside. Or you got some habits or some qualities that just have a way of attracting negative energy and negativity and drama. Until you fix you, you're going to deal with that bullshit for the rest of your life. Until you make a change. And get rid of the things that are bringing you down. Get rid of the things that are stressing you. Get rid of the things that's interfering with your peace and happiness. Ain't the city. That's all I had to say. Just wanted to rant about that because I just can't stand when people just shit on that city. It's not because they shitting on that city. I don't fuck about that. It's just when people blame cities for 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 the problems they have and the things that they're going through. It's just weird. It's like a cop out. Oh, I'm just miserable. I got to get out of here. Well. <laughs> And I told that particular person, I said, if you stop answering the motherfucking phone calls and just block those motherfuckers, you could find some peace without even moving. Right where you stand, right where you sit. Won't even have to change your address. But sometimes you may have to change your address. But Philly is, is, a, is a big enough city where you can move and, and, and uh, I guess, escape drama and without someone following you. It's, it's big enough to do that. Me and my brother always say that. We always say like if a woman was being abused and she wanted to get away from her abuser, she could escape in Philly. Philly has so many different areas, so many different neighborhoods, so many different sections, and it's so big that you can hide from your abuser and, and not have to leave the city. Now, Pittsburgh, that's a different story because Pittsburgh is a little teeny box. Boston, a little teeny box. D.C., a little teeny box. But Philly, it's not that small. So you, you 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 can move Like I'm in West Philadelphia I'm like in Overbrook That's where Will Smith is from I'm in a nice part of Overbrook But if I move to Northeast That is like 45 minutes away And it feels like In Philadelphia cities are Not cities, their neighborhoods Are so different from one another They feel different The people are different a little bit So it would feel like a complete change It would feel like I'm in another city if I was to move all the way up northeast from where I'm at in West Philly. Somebody lived in South Philly and they moved to Uptown, which is above North Philly. This is considered a pretty nice area. Some areas are nice. Um, some areas not so much, but you will feel like you're in a completely different city. So you can stay in Philadelphia and move to another area and still feel like you um well, I guess you, you could say that, that you change your environment if you move to another area. But you will really feel like you're like in a different city. It has that New York effect on a smaller scale. Like if you move from Brooklyn or the Bronx to Staten Island, you will feel like it, it, it just feels different. If you move from Staten Island to Queens, it feels different. But you can change your environment without moving far and, and still gain a sense of peace without, you know, moving out the yonder, moving a thousand miles away. But you have to fix what's causing you not to be happy. If you don't fix that, no matter where you move, you're going to be miserable. J.L.F. 47.